Better be hooded. Eivor, I'm pleased you came. Welcome to my estate, old friend. Thane Alfgar, it's an impressive amount of land you oversee. Quite right. I often get lost swimming to my island in this flowing sea of wheat.
You said you had something to show me when we last spoke. What did you mean? Yes, I did. Observe. This fine specimen belonged to our beloved elderman, Hunbeort, before his untimely passing. He left it here when we last hunted together. I now wish you to have it. It is a beautiful weapon, finely crafted. Thank you. I thought you might like it. Now, now, take it and come, Heather. I have a rousing hunt planned for the two of us. Leave aside talk of politics and shire moats. Let us enjoy the fruits of my land together. We're hunting or fruit picking? Both, if you like. Whatever you fancy. I'm generous with the yields of my estate, as you will see. To be plain, Eivor, a great bear has been badgering my estate for weeks. I must do away with it, if only to prevent a future tragedy. You brought me here to hunt a bear. Yes, and I'm so pleased you agreed to come. I suspect you know better than most that I have what it takes to leave this shire. Though its line of kings is all but ended, the people of this land still teems with life, with promise. But today, the Shire languishes. It needs the guidance of new blood. Like me. I'm sorry? I'm the definition of new blood. It may be I should put my name in for Elderman. <laughs> ah, there it is, that dark sense of humor. Blunt as a hammer, eh? Like the one carried by your... Uh, your thunder god, uh, I don't recall the name. Go on. What I mean to say is, I enjoy the company of your people. Or people like you. What little I've seen of them. And I don't care what stuffy fools like Herofriv and Unwald say. You Danes are damned decent people. Not dense at all. Kind of you to notice. I remember when the Danes first arrived. Not long ago. The locals were terrified. Not of being raided, but of their spouses being seduced away with all your perfumes and bricks. Are we hunting, Elgar? Or is it your hope that I'll braid your hair? Hunting, definitely! The bear's lair should be nearby. Wonderful to see you here. What a pleasant surprise. What surprise? I came as you requested. Ah, uh, yes, and how is Grimsby? How are all the other Danes? I can't speak for all Danes, but I am well, and itching for a hunt as you made plain in your message this morning. Yes, that's right, very good. Uh, speaking of Danes, I'd like to introduce you to Eivor. Uh, perhaps you know each other as one Dane to another. It is good to meet you, Grim. Hey, Leivor. Did he lure you here as well with the promise of a hunt? He... Yes, hunting a bear! That's the point of all this. We're hunting. I promise. There's a cave just up the hill there. Seems a likely place for a lair. If the beast is as large as Elfgar claims, it'll take all three of us to bring it down. I'm game. Let's get a new fur cloak, shall we? There's all manner of beasts in this forest. If we don't find the bear, we'll find something worth our supper. I have a divine rule over the land on my estate. God shall provide. Have no worry. This is the threshold of a beast's home. There's no doubting that. That's not fair.
Eivor. There's something you'll want to see here. Is that... That smoke! My god! My estate is burning like a twig! Soon to be a sea of fire. Eivor! You're skilled enough, and I can't tell you how to handle this, but... Please! My god, help me with it! I'm in this fight with you! A clutch of puny Mercians don't frighten me! I should not be seen in this area. Where's Alga, bloody Dane lover? Search every last house, then. The men who would see you burn are dead. Let's get these fires out. Agreed. What a mess. A sea of ashes. I thank you, Eivor, for doing what you could. You're a man of many riches, Aldgar. You can rebuild. To be sure. But I do not look forward to the toilet. <laughs> Sweet Lord in heaven! The bear is returned! The Shiremood will start soon. I should return to Lincoln to see that it goes well. Thank <laughs> you. 
Archer, is everything ready? The Shiremoot will soon begin. Will you join us, Eivor? We'd be comforted by your presence. Yes, I'm curious to see this Shiremoot for myself. I will follow. When will the vote begin, Abbas? Twelve able lords of Lincolnshire have already cast their stones, but they have reached a tie. Four votes for each man. It now falls to you to break this impasse. Me? By whose order? You have earned the trust of our three candidates, it seems. Even our bishop has found a certain fondness for your hardy spirit. It's an important vote for your people. How would you counsel my vote? I value competent and righteous leadership, not foolish friends in high seats. Anyone but Hunwald, you mean? I love Hunwald, as I love my own kin. But I would not put a stone in his care without fearing for the safety of both. I pray that God guides your vote today, and not the devil, as I fear. You won't trouble me any longer! How are you, Lord? Have I heard aright that you have come to break us from our deadlock? I have, Lord. Have you any advice before I vote? Lord Hundbeor was a bold and honest man, if somewhat reckless. I see the same qualities in his son. Therefore, Hunwald is my man. Away, beast! Away! You won't trouble me any longer! King Cheowulf's attendant, aren't you? Aye. The King sends his love and support. Whatever happens here today shall have his full blessing. He's learning fast. Good man. Away, beast! Away! You won't trouble me any longer! Elgar, careful! A vote for Hunwald will... Good evening, Elgar. Eivor, I hope it's not untoward of me to solicit your support, but I do need it. The vote is closer than a cat's whisker. It is a difficult choice, Alvgar. Know that I won't make it lightly. Good, good. But let me say unreservedly that I am the man who will lead Lincolnshire into progress and victory. I do not doubt your convictions, Lord. A vote for Hunwald will return the house of the ferocious swan to its former glory. Grim, good to see you again. A hearty hello, Drenger. Seems Britain is getting quite used to the idea of Danes stalking her shores. Where do you fall in this contest, Grim? Alfgar is a friend of yours, is he not? He is. And a good man as well. But I cast my stone for the bishop. The bishop? That's an odd strategy. These Christians are easy to nudge about. So desperate they are to avoid a good fight, they'll agree to most anything a Dane says. A vote for Hunwald will return the house of the ferocious swan to its former glory. Mid golden weather, a moton where wood. How fair you, Lord? My prayers are fervent and my will is strong, Eivor. If I am Elderman, I will bring joy to this shire. There is more to good leadership than merrymaking. You must be strong and stern and willing to take risks. Of course, of course. Strength and wisdom and fortitude and all that. I shall rise above the peat moss of mediocrity. Have no fear. That is good to hear. <laughs> Bishop. Eivor, I must thank you for your fearless participation in our moot. I'm surprised to hear you vouch for me, Bishop. I surprised myself, to be honest. 
But I felt it would be a good test of God's faith in my judgment. Under my guidance, this Shire is crawling back from a decade of lawlessness. God knows the love that lives in my heart for the people of Lincolnshire. I pray now that he guides your hand accordingly. Quite a gambit, Bishop. Mad enough to work, it may be. Well then, I thank you for what it's worth. God go with you. So this that here. Free men, free possible futures. Which of these sad puppets will dance best when you call upon them? It is not for myself I must cast the stone, but for my clan. Who will serve us best in a time of true need? You can never be certain where you stand in another's heart. Choose only for yourself. All three have strengths and weaknesses. Though tinged with arrogance, Alvgard is competent and wealthy. He'd be a good elderman, but a faithful ally? I choose Alvgard. He's sturdy and competent, and his wealth will be a boon. It is decided. By the grace of God, the new elderman is Lord Algar of Lincoln. God has spoken, and his voice is a clarion call. As your elderman, I will work to better this shire, to foster peace between its people, and to serve our king. I bless you all. Let us all raise our cups. A toast to our new elderman. As all well know, this Shiremoot's decision is not final, but advisory. It now falls to our newly anointed King Cheowulf to ratify our choice. To this end, we need not worry Cheowulf is a friend to Saxon and Dane alike, and he is sure to approve the results. Our good and noble friend, Arvelswith. A septic rot has overtaken this shire. A sickness for which there is only one cure. Your grace! What is this? Nobles of Lincolnshire, stand fast! For the glory of the ancients, leave none alive! Steal yourself, Unwald.
chances! Is this how they guard welcomes the new elder? Your troubles begin early, Elvgar. We'll find and kill that man. To think such carnage could happen in Lincoln. The grief tosser can't have gone far. Raise a fear and march against what many has left. Agreed. Hunwald, will you fight with me? I will. For the sake of Lincolnshire, I bloody will. I am at a loss for words. A trusted man of the cloth. <coughs> I will pray for these martyrs and tend to the remaining wounded until the last man walks free. Be well, Archer. And you, Eivor. May God or... or the gods protect you. Incomprehensible Gutas qui erat Disciples es homine Set a long come so
Such carnage I've never seen. That twisted bishop must pay the devil his due. What news? We have learned that Herefrith occupies a fort at Anacastra, south of here. An eager fear awaits my voice to lead him into battle. Will you ride with us? I have gone some days without a proper siege. Lead on. To the camp then, and onward to Anacastra. Follow, if you will. Herebrith was a friend of my father's and always so dear to me. I don't understand what possessed him. He invoked the name of an ancient order before his men attacked. I know exactly what possessed him. Do you? It's not a story for now. This will send waves of disgust through all the parishes of Mercia. Herebrith is a new and ugly stain on the bishopric. Your Christ was an interesting man, if a little soft. But stranger still, I've met so few Christians like him. Today has been a boon, Eivor. In spite of everything, I now know my father's spirit still burns within me. It's thanks to you I know this. When songs are sung of the day Lincolnshire was saved, your name will ripple through every stanza. Don't be hasty, Hunwald. One verse of our song remains unsung. The din of battle beckons. You pagans and your appetite for battle. I certainly don't share it. I worry what diabolical feast the bishop has in store. Don't let that poxy bishop worry you. With Eivor beside us, he'll be victuals before long. How has Acha taken all this? She and Herebrick were so close. She must feel as though the devil himself attacked her monastery. The poor lady. We spoke briefly. Her spirits were low, but her work carried on. We are she... the men of Lincoln! Manipulated by a man who should... Our camp is just here. Our warsmith has arrived. The Feards are ready to fight. Chieftain Eivor, can we win this battle with a small number you see assembled here? If they fight as strongly as they smell, we will claim victory. Then we'll have no cause for worry. We should attack soon, before the bishop can muster more troops. What do you think, Eivor? We attack now. Ready the Feard. Our first task will be to breach the outer wall. Then we deal with the troops inside. Our camp is just here. When the feet. Mm. The best way to breach is with a battering ram. I should help it along.
you. Point me to the bishop. No one else need die today. He he's he's in the chapel there, hiding away. Scabrous coward. Let no one leave that church without facing judgment. <laughs> Must be blocked from the other side. Can't hold out much longer.
I died the day I hid behind these robes, this cross. To bring the light of my order to a wider view, I debased myself. Clawed my way to the top of this common religion, full of common men. I should have lived as the ancients did. That's the folly of mankind, Herifrith. We wallow in our failures, like happy pigs in a sty of shit. We should have learned to enjoy it. Enough about that. Bloody Reavers. We'd need to force every man. I don't leave jail. Oh. <sighs> Eivor! You fought as one possessed by a demon today. Herivrith may yet have allies in Mercia, members of his secret order, but the immediate danger is past. You have my deepest thanks, Eivor. To you I owe all my future happiness and prosperity. You're a good fit for Eldam in Alvgar. Just make sure you put the Shia's needs above your own. Of course. I'd not be the man I am today without this land, these people. It is a shame Hunwell was not fit to don his father's boots. But he can bring joy to the people here. Treat him well. Yes, about that. I believe he has a somewhat different idea of his future. You should talk to him. About? Until next we meet, Eivor. The strength of Lincolnshire is yours, should you need it.
We are bonded now. Your people and mine. I have found better friends in Danes, to be honest. Swanborough is my love, and... ...you are a better friend to me than any here. Would it be an imposition to ask... ...well... ...could we live with your clan? Swanborough and I. It would mean so much to her... ...and to me. Of course you may. We'll be happy to host you, ferocious swan, and your charming Dane. Come when it suits you. Oh, yes! Uh, I'll pull my weight, I promise. And fight when needs be, and I won't drink more than I'm allotted. You fight with us, Hunwald, and you can drink as much as you like. Thank you, Eivor. This means... It means the world to me. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Randy. Best tell her the good news. talk to hide them about my next targets. I'm grateful to see Bassam returned. There's so much more I wish to learn from him. Here. This marks few members of the Order. Another one? You are certainly proficient. As a token of my deep gratitude, I want you to have this. I have to go. Then go in peace. So glad to see you. Lincolnshire is a friend to us. Wonderful news. And who is our ally there? Elfgar is now Elderman of Lincolnshire. I believe he will be a good friend to our clan. 
Good. I hope he is a man we can trust. I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me about Jorvik. Hytham says there are three more targets there. If that is true, you are in luck. Our old friends Jor and Ljuvina have made their homes in Jorvik. Both had status and influence in Norway, so they may have valuable insights into the city's politics. That will make my work easier. What say you then? I'll go now. Do you know where I might find Jor and Lufina? When entering a new city, it is best to ask around the ports. The people there know more than the average peasant. Uber Ragnarsson has come. He claims to have some business with you. <laughs> 